Okay, this is uh, section three, proving similar triangles. Okay, so the key to this is making sure we know the three ways to prove triangles are similar. So our three ways are angle, angle, similarity, okay, which means basically you need two congruent angles. Then we have side, angle, side, similarity. So for this one, you need one uh, congruent angle and um, two sides proportional, meaning they have the same ratio, same ratio, okay. And then the last one is side, side, side similarity, which means for this to work, you need three sides proportional. I'm going to abbreviate that. And so I just realized maybe to help and keep it color coded. So this should be size, 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 similarity. This one here, side, angle, side, similarity, which means the angle has to be in between those two sides and then angle, angle, similarity. So we're either picking one of these three, we can use one of these three, or it cannot be proven. Okay. So we're going to determine whether the following triangles are similar. If yes, by what reason, which one of the three, and then provide a similar statement, if possible. If not, state not enough information, not possible. All right, so of the test, like I forgot to circle those, pretty much everything in this section, 16, 17, 18, and 19, are test like. Okay, again, I will probably fo focus on the odds, but I want to make sure everyone's on the right track. So I will look at 16 with you. Now, we look at what's given. Uh, we have three sides, so we're going to shoot with side, side, side similarity. We're going to go from big to small, okay, because the left one is the biggest one. This is a big one, do small. And make sure your numbers match up. So meaning, for example, if I'm looking at the biggest number, in the big uh, triangle, it has to correspond with the biggest number in the small triangle. So that means I have to make my 20 correspond with 5. So equal to, we're going to do all proportions. What's the next biggest number? 16. What's the next biggest number in the small triangle? That's 4. So that has to go 16 to 4. Smallest number, 12. What's the smallest number in the triangle? Three. So let's say you didn't have angle measurements or markings to make sure you're, or the similarity statement to make sure you're lining up the, the parts correctly, but you keep the same comparison, big to small, biggest to small, medium, smallest. All right, so if I look at these, 20 over five reduces to 20 divided by five is just four. 16 divided by four is just four. 12 divided by four is just four. Since they all are equal, then this is yes, because they are proportional. And if they're proportional, they are similar. So, R-E-D, if I go start with R-E-D, I have to make sure I uh, follow that same pattern. So it's going R, oops, sorry, don't do that. R-E-D, so we're basically going middle to smallest, then back to the biggest. So I have to correspond with that pattern for my similarity statement. So that should be triangle. Hopefully we got D O T. Okay. So we do middle to smallest to large. There we go. And then how are they similar? Yes, by size, 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 similarity. So right here. Because we had three size proportional meaning they have the same ratio, same cross product, same number. All right, so let's look at 17. That's an odd anyway, so let's go ahead and do that together. Here, well, I see one angle at least. That's angle M and angle A. So we know angle M is congruent to angle A because they're both the same. So I, how many do I, angles do I need to prove they're similar? I need at least two. So right now I got one. 
is there a second? So if I mark the given, then you need to mark known facts. Hopefully you see the other known angles we can mark are right here, our vertical. So mark vertical angles. All right, so meaning angle MTE is congruent to angle ATV. So that's the vertical. Now, do I have two angles? Yes, I do. So we know it's going to be by angle angle similarity because we showed two congruent angles. All right, now we just got to complete the similarity statement. So if I'm going from T, A, B, so I go from T to this 28 to B, I got to start with the T again. So that would be T, M, E. Remember, order matters. Make sure you match up the degrees and the angles. So that takes care of 17. All right, we'll get 18. They give us the statement. So we already know which parts. Now we just got to determine if it's similar. If yes, how? So if I'm looking here, I have CE or EC corresponds with AE. So that means that would be 12 is to 4. Now I need the other part. We have EB. EB. Right here, it's first and last, first and last, ED, so that's 15 to 5, okay? Now, that's the known facts, given facts. Another known fact, I'm hoping you saw, was what we did on the other one, is the vertical angle. So we have vertical angles. So we have at least one angle, so all I need is another, but I can't, I don't have any information for another for two angles, but I can do maybe side angle, side similarity, because are these angles, there's our A for the angles, between our sides? Yes, that's what we need to check. Yep, the A, the angles that we're using are between the two sides that we have. So all I got to do now is check that the sides are proportional. So if I cross multiply, we get 4 times 15 is 60, and 12 times 5 is 60, since they're both the same then yes, they are similar. If yes, how? Side, angle, side. Similarity. Okay. Now, let's look at 19. 19, we're just trying to determine if they're similar or not. So what I really need to do is just check my proportion, check my corresponding sides. So this 4 had two tick marks. It's going to correspond over here. So 4 is to 16. That's 13 is to 60. Well, if I was to cross multiply here, how am I going to get the same cross product? Well, 16 and 13, that's going to give me 298. And this is going to be 240. So no, they are not the same cross products. So it's not similar. All right, so you are going to be responsible for, for 20. Kind of follow what we did on 19. And that takes care of section 3.